Hey guys, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Welcome to another maths tutorial. Uh, today we're going to talk about the classification of numbers using sets. So by the time you watch this video, you should already have a good understanding on what sets are and how to list the elements of a set and basically everything that we have done already on set theory. Okay, so let's talk about the classification of numbers. The first thing we want to do is define a set for what we call natural numbers. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have seen a number line before, but basically a number line is a horizontal line where we indicate uh, where the numbers are going from 0 and increasing by 1 to the right and it's basically like a ruler so a number line is like a ruler and I'm gonna use the number line to show you where the natural numbers are okay so the natural numbers are basically uh, the numbers 1 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on, continuing uh, forever. So we indicate the continuation using another arrow on the top. Okay, so this is what natural numbers are. Numbers that do not have any decimal points uh, decimal numbers after the decimal point so they are whole numbers but does not include zero okay natural numbers do not include zero so therefore uh, we're going to define a set called n and this set is going to have one two three four and so on so it is an infinite set infinite set we have uh, no limit on the number of elements so it's an infinite set and uh, it's called n natural numbers okay the second uh, category of numbers which I'm going to give you guys is called whole numbers And if I draw a number line, uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, just like the one before that I've drawn before, it is basically exactly the same except we also include 0. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and going onwards okay so this set is called W and basically it's exactly the same as the set N except we also include 0 at the beginning and it's an infinite set as well so whole numbers basically is natural numbers plus the number 0 okay and we define another set based on that okay so now we have two different sets of numbers natural numbers whole numbers I'm gonna give you guys another set of numbers called integers right now integers are basically uh, exactly the same as whole numbers and natural numbers because we're not to now allowed to have any decimal values uh, but we also include the left hand side of 0 on the number line so to the right hand side of 0 as we have previously previously seen are all positive numbers to the left hand side of the number line to the left hand side of 0 we then have negative numbers so going to the left we have negative 3 and so on 
negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and so on. So integers include all the whole numbers. as well as all the numbers to the left of the zero uh, number and the symbol for integers is Z okay Z uh, if you're in America you probably say Z or whatever you guys say but in Australia we say Z and basically it's all the numbers towards the negative infinity negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3 and to positive infinity so again it's an infinite set of numbers and we call it integers and we use the symbol Z now you would see that some schools probably use the symbol I for integers but uh, what I'm going to do is use the symbol Z because I'm going to use the symbol I for something else later on. Okay, now what if I want to include uh, decimal points in my numbers? So, for example, if I want to include, so now we're up to number four, uh, number four, uh, what I'm going to call them is uh, real numbers. And if I use a number line for real numbers, basically what it is actually an easier way is to just draw a long double sided arrow on top of the number line indicating that every single number is allowed okay so we're allowed to have for example uh, 2.34 or 5.628 any number is allowed okay and those are called uh, real numbers so R the symbol for that is R is uh, any number on the number line including decimal numbers okay so hopefully you guys have learned something about the classification of numbers alright basically numbers can be divided up into these four major categories and we'll go a bit further with this uh, next lesson okay thanks for watching guys see you next time